Hello everyone, Raza here. In this video, we will take a look at the three different types of chart controls in Power Apps. We will explore its properties, see how to connect data, be it in a collection or coming from your data source, use table shaping formulas like grouping, counting, and a lot more. Let's check it out in action. We have three types of chart controls that are made available for us. Column chart control, a line chart control, and a pie chart control. Under charts, there is also Power BI tile. This allows us to connect to any tile in Power BI or even bring in an entire Power BI report. So let's start with the column chart control. This control is a composite control that comprises of the column chart, a title area, and the legend. The items property for the column chart is sample data that is provided for us. Here, the label is city, so it lists out all the cities. In the series, it has area, density, and population. This is based upon the schema of the table that is being provided to this control. I've added a button. On select of this, I will load data in a collection that has revenue information. So if I was to click on this button, the collection now includes all the data. Let's go to the column chart control. For the items property, I will use my collection, which is called revenue. Let's expand the width. The labels that are being displayed is the year. And then in the series, the first option that set is India. Now, if I was to change this to, let's say USA, this will give the revenue numbers across the years for USA. My collection has information for three different countries. If I would like to have multiple columns per year, I'll go to properties. Number of series is one. I want this to be three since I have data for three countries. And now we can see how it is displaying information for each of those three countries as separate columns, USA, UK, India. The grid style X only, so shows the years. If I say all, it will show both the X and Y axis. Y in this scenario points to the revenue. Markers by default is on. I can turn it off if needed. Items gap is the gap between the columns. Let's say five. The colors for the items. There is a property called item color set. By default, it has an array of colors defined. I'll change this to an array for USA. I'll pick the color blue violet. UK, I'll pick sea green. And for India, I'll pick sky blue. So we can see how the item colors are set. There is the title label control for the chart. The line chart control. Once again, it's a composite control for the items property of the line chart. I'll use the same collection. Number of series, I'll set to three. Head over to advanced. Similar properties, the label, it's the x-axis is the year. And then the series that I'm generating, the pie chart. Once again, a composite control. We have the items property. Let's use our same collection. Now notice here, under advanced, we only have two options here. The label, that's the year, and what's the series based upon? I only have one option. So it can either be on the country India, or UK, or USA. Plus, it doesn't show me the revenue amount. That's because whatever label you select, that's the only label that it displays. Now this is where we can take advantage of table shaping formulas in Canvas Power Apps. 
So let's look at our collection again. Now I want to add an extra column here that shows me the total revenue across all my countries. To do that, I simply need to add a column to this collection. So I will use the formula add columns to my collection. The name of my column, I will call it total revenue. And this will be India plus UK plus USA. Now I have total revenue. For my pie chart control, the label is the year, the series would be the total revenue. But it still does not show me what's that amount. To do that, we'll add another column, add columns to this entire result set. You can give any name to this column. I'm calling it label. And my expression would be concatenate the year with a string, concatenate this with the total revenue, and concatenate this with another string. All I've done here now is my table will have an extra column called label that will show the year and then on the brackets it will show the total revenue. I've also leveraged the text formula to add some formatting. So now we can see that the label column has the year as well as the total revenue for that year. The label, I will leverage the label property that I just created and the series would be the actual total revenue. Now if we explore, the chart control gives me the information. I would like to bring information from a data source. Here I have a SharePoint list that has employee data. My Power App is connected to that list. To show the data in that list, I will leverage a modern table control that I can easily connect to my employee data SharePoint list. Now let's go and add one of the chart controls to show how many users belong to a particular department. So I'll go and insert the pie chart, items property, employee data. My goal here is to group the data based upon department. Department in my SharePoint list is a column of type choice. If I use the group by formula here to group the data based upon the department column, it won't allow me to group by that column purely because department is a choice column. So what I will do here is first, I will use the formula show columns to only get the columns I need. Department. So this will give only the data from the department column. Bear in mind, none of the table shaping formulas are delegable. So we are going to be limited to the delegation limit, which can be a maximum of 2000. So here I have the departments. Now I will go and say, add columns, department name, department column, which is of type choice dot value. So now, if you notice, it gives me the actual values from that choice column for each of the rows in my SharePoint list. Now, if I need any other column information, let's say name, when I stated show columns, here I will say also go ahead and pick the title column. Title has the name. My goal here is to get the number of users per department. So I need to group by department group by the department name column comma I can give a name to my group group underscore department. So it gives me the main department names and then group underscore department includes tabular data all those rows from my data source which pertain to that specific department. Now all I need is another column that gives me the total number of users that are in this table. I'll add another column, the column name, I'll say number of users. And then the formula I will use for this is count rows of this record dot the group, which has the tabular data. 
Now you can see we have an extra column number of users. Label, I will use department name and series is number of users. Now here it's not giving me the exact count. For the items property, I'll add another column label. I will concatenate department name with number of users. Now I have this label that shows the name of the department and the number of users. So for my pie charts label property, I'll simply pick that column. It's giving me the number of users in each department. Let's say when I select an item in the chart, it should go and filter my table or my gallery. For this table control, the items property is my SharePoint list. Filter my SharePoint list where department, which is a choice column, so department.value is equal to my pie chart control dot selected dot department name. Currently nothing is selected, so it doesn't show anything in the table. To show information for all departments, I'll put an or condition, which would be pie chart dot selected dot department name is equal to blank. And the table is listing all my data. Now, if I pick sales, observe how the table is filtering the data to only show the user information for the department sales. If I pick marketing, well, show me the marketing data. You can confirm the row count at the bottom as well. Here is a scenario of an existing power app. The home screen has a dashboard that lists out the number of ideas and the different statuses. Let's change this to a chart control. Remember, we can also add on select and that's exactly what I have done here. So when the user lands on the dashboard, they get this chart that shows the number of ideas in those different statuses. If they click, for example, declined, it takes me to a view that only shows the declined items. If I go back and click approved, it will only show me the approved items. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.